Hi, I'm happy to welcome you all to the today's English class. In the previous class, we were discussing about the lesson, the railway children. Actually, the railway children is a novel, and here in our English textbook, we have one of the chapters of the novel, the railway children. The railway children was written by the author Edith Nesbitt. And in the previous class, we have completed half of the story. And in this class, we are going to continue the same story. Let's get into it. In the last class, Peter he was caught by the station master. And what happened next? Station master said to Peter that he is going to bring Peter to the station. The other two kids. Bobby and Phyllis, they got frightened. The station master, he heard another sound from the darkness. Oh no, not to the police station. Bobby and Phyllis, they thought the station master is going to bring Peter to the police station. But actually, he was not going to take Peter to the police station. He was talking about railway station. Bobby and Phyllis, they came out from the darkness. The three of them, they stood in front of the station master. The station master asked, Are you a regular gang? You are the children of three chimneys. Haven't you been to church? Haven't you ever been to church to know it's wicked to steal? Don't you know it's a wicked thing to steal? He said. But that Peter, he was replying to the station master. I didn't think it was stealing. I took only from the middle and thought it was mining. Because there's so much, there's so much of coal, it will take thousands of years to burn up all that coal. He replied to the station master. But station master said, stealing is stealing. What's mine is not yours. And finally the station master said to them, Don't ever do this again. Run along to your home. He has forgiven them. And the three children, they replied, You are a gentleman. You are a darling. You are a dear. They said and left from the station. And on their way to home, they were talking together. Peter said, we have a lot of coal in this cellar and we could use it any time. He was happy. But that Bobby replied to Peter, it's wrong. I do not think we should keep that coal. Peter replied to Bobby, I do not know. I don't think mining is a crime. I'm not all sure. But Peter was pretty sure. He knew it very well that he did a wrong thing. But he was not admitting that. That's the happy end of our story. Thank you for watching this video.